Okay, let's see what we get. We can we have room for two more critters. <laughs> Look at that! I love it! I like the colors too. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna call you Larry the Leaf Tail. Right? Larry the Leaf Tail. He likes that. <laughs> I love the noise, man. Sounds like he's yawning. Welcome back, everybody, to the Plant Crafter. I'm the Bearded OG. In this episode, we're going to keep working on our new home base, uh, the interior of it. A couple things to get you updated on first, though. Uh, I created a auto crafter to start auto crafting circuit boards, and the reason for that is because um, we need circuit boards to make smart cloth. Uh, I had my smart cloth recipe uh, came back in the rocket, and uh, so we can start making that and. Uh, I'm planning on actually setting up a production facility uh, to make this just for money, but um, I also need it. We also need it to make the uh, new furniture, some of the new furniture that we we recently got there. Uh, okay, so uh, the other thing that I did too, let's see, I added another uh, silk generator here, and I have this thing auto crafting fabric. <clears throat> Excuse me, and then the fabric is going in. Uh, somewhere. <laughs> oh, I think over here. Yeah. Uh, the fabric's going in, in here. So I guess what you call this fabric instead of cloth. That's kind of the same thing, but not precisely. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I guess it is kind of the same thing. They're both very general terms. Um, anyway. Okay. So we got that going and, um, thought, uh, I'm not sure if I did something else besides those two things or not. I don't remember. Uh, I still haven't done anything about my storage in here, but that is on the to-do list at some point. So let's uh, let's run over to the animal farm really quick, uh, or the food farm. And I have in here, I've got uh, everything except for a color A trait uh, ready for a new animal with species 2, because we've done 1 and 3 so far. Um, so we got that in there, and... <clears throat> I don't have, that's a color B trait. We need a color A trait. And I do, uh, we, you know, we are getting larva from, um, the habitat thing that we put down a couple episodes ago, this thing over here. And you guys recommended that I set up the drones to Oh, I think we wanted this in polio. Uh, set up drones to empty this so it could keep producing. Uh, I, w I, am, I am planning on doing that. In fact, let's just tell it to, to be a supplier. And... Uh, you know, we really should probably actually, if we're going to do that, we should move this to the to the farm unless how much is it how expensive is this to make yeah we got we could make another one but the thing is is i don't think i want the drones having to make that really long trip back and forth so i, I think i would prefer to have this i uh, can't do oh i didn't i just empty it oh it just wow that was fast <laughs> uh okay yeah let's reset this Damn. Uh, set this up. This will take that too. Uh, over at the food farm. And then we'll set up a container for it to put its stuff into. All right. So um, we could... Uh, how do I actually, oh, we have to explicitly choose all the, all the larva. Hmm. 
All right. So I don't think we want to do the common stuff, but anything that is uh, this kind of larva, we can have this load up in here for us. Well, you know what, though? Over time, that's really going to fill up, isn't it? We should probably have a dedicated storage for the larva. So let's just set this back to the food. Because the ones that are in here, I put in myself. Right. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. So what do I need to make a storage? I think I need two supers and a circuit board. All right. Let's run back and do that after I set this habitat thingy down. Things are getting busy over here. Hey, look at you. Ham the, uh, ham, ham the speedster. Is that what the hell I was going to name this thing? <laughs> oh, let's get some traits off these guys. You're uh. Wait, is this is this Fred or Fredrika? This must be Fred because it's a size. No, wait, that's a size four. Where's this is Fred over here? Fred's a size five. You're uh, Frederick is still pretty damn big for size four. I mean, they. They look like they're the same damn size. I would figure, you know, I figured the size. Yeah, they are the same size. Hey, look at that screenshot. How about that, huh? <laughs> um, I would have figured this one would be smaller because it's size four and this one's size five. Don't know. I don't know how all this shit works, man. Hey, look at him in there eating his food. Drinking, actually. Is that what you're doing there? Ham the speedster. I don't know if Ham's a male or a female. Nah, I'm not going to check either. Okay. So anyway, we got to find a spot for this thing in Madoodle. Uh, maybe we put it right over here if it'll let us. Ecosystem. Um, do I want it with the tree in the middle? That should work. All right, so you supply everything. And we'll put a, a uh, another storage thingy down to collect all of those larva. Um, so to see, what I say, two supers and a circuit board? Yeah. So two supers and a circuit board. Oh, did you give me a color A? You did. I got two color A's. All right, since we got those as freebies. Well, actually, though, I kind of want to do something red. Why? I have no idea. Just do. Uh, so don't judge me. <laughs> uh, can we put... All right, can we put this... Here. Oh, that's yeah, there's not enough room to put that there. It's probably we have uh yeah, control. Wait a minute. Is that the front? No. That's the front. Things are getting a little crowded in here, man. We're not even gonna be able to get by there without jumping now. What if we stuck it? Right in here. How's that, huh? Okay. We're going to just call this... Um, cha uh, yeah, change text. We're going to call this... Um, color... Larva. Okay. Now... Um, we want it to demand pretty much anything that's not like a basic larva. All right, I think that's all of them. Good. And then let's go ahead and put these larvae in there.
and it's already bringing us another impaglio. I, I think that's what I want to do, though, is I want to do that red color. So let's put the impaglio in here, get a red uh, color A. That doesn't, that looks, doesn't look very red to me, but it's red-ish. Okay, let's see what we get. We can, we have room for two more critters. <laughs> Look at that. I love it. I like the colors too. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to call you Larry the Leaf Tail. Right? Larry the Leaf Tail. He likes that. <laughs> I love the noise, man. Sounds like he's yawning. Larry the Leaf Tail. Because, you know, his tail looks kind of like a leaves, right? I don't want to call him Larry the Leaf Tail. Or the Leaf's Tail, so Larry the Leaf Tail. Or maybe Lee the Leaf. Now, don't start that shit, then I'm going to start confusing the names. Larry the Leaf Tail, that's his name. All right. If you guys think you can come up with a better name for that, let me know in the comments. But Larry the Leaf Tail. Fan freaking tastic. All right. I like that. Um... I guess I didn't really go over what all the traits were, so just back up on the video and pause it if you guys want to see exactly what that was, because honestly, I kind of don't remember. <laughs> just putting shit in there, right? Okay. Uh, but that's kind of the nice thing about just putting shit in there is because then you get, like, you know, variety of stuff, right? Okay, so that's a skin pattern color. That's a skin pattern color. Let's go with this one because there's a little more color to it. And then we have an extra uh, color A to use and... Uh, an extra skin pattern. Okay, so we'll just put those back in here. Oh, we got... Uh... Wait, were those already in there? They must have been, because there's no reason for the drones to put them in there otherwise. I like this, man. This is cool, because then, then we can start collecting some... some color options for our, our critters. All right, very good. Let's see. What are we doing now? We are... Do we have cookies in here? No, that takes such a damn long time. Cookies aren't... I don't know that they're really that efficient for selling, especially now that we can do the smart cloth anyways. That's going to make us the most money out of anything. Uh, I think it's the highest priced commodity as far as I know. Uh, but to set it up, I'm not going to do that in this episode, but to set it up, basically, what would we need... Um, well, here, let's look at the smart cloth recipe again. I mean, you know, fabric and circuit board, that's not super crazy. It might warrant... It might warrant its own facility, though, like we've done with the fusion cells. Or maybe we could even... Um, put it in the fusion cells uh, building. But I think, yeah, I think we would... Here, let's just go look at that really quick. I think we would create its own facility. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll have to kind of map out the the stuff that I, I, I would need for that. And if I feel like it'll fit comfortably in here, maybe we'll include it here. And then we'll just put a, a second rocket down over on this side. I might have to move the frogs over a little bit uh, for the smart cloth. You guys told me in the comments um, to keep making money even after I buy everything because I'm going to need it at the end of the game. Uh, you didn't tell me why, and that's good, because I don't want I don't like spoilers, but I do appreciate knowing that. So yay. Okay, let's get back to business here with Um our new base. We we want to get the interior design. Okay, so I want customizable sofa, customizable bed, plus we'll also just make the basic stuff. So we're gonna need a shit ton of fabric and iron. Um it looks like we're gonna need some of the other ores too. We'll make a cooking station out there, and of course we need a spacesuit displayer or tin. Um, so lots of fun stuff to do. We'll do some of these displays. We'll decorate it up, you know, with what we have to work with and make it look really badass. Um, all right, but let's start with the customizable stuff. Uh, so we're going to need two, four, six. We're going to need six smart fabric and then three supers. Oh, by the way, for those of you who are curious, we are 39.86% of the way towards the final stage uh, in our terraformation process here. And, uh, yeah, so I haven't really done much, you know, to boost this. Uh, and it's because I'm not in a hurry. 
you know, it's just kind of naturally going up. But we might, uh, you know, uh, I might get to a point where I'll add some more stuff. But I'm adding it more just to decorate the world and enhance the world more than I am to raise the, the TTI, you know. And I think it'll just happen naturally. And if I get to a point where I feel like, okay, we need to actually boost this a little bit. Maybe we'll throw down, you know, some more drills or some heaters or, uh, you know, launch some more animal rockets, stuff like that. But we're not in a hurry, so. Okay, anyway, let's um, pu -pu 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 let's put uh, this stuff in here. That's all there for an extra portal if we needed to make it for some reason. Yeah, we just want to kind of keep that stuff in hand. I wish we could make the portal and just carry the portal around to save the slots, but it doesn't work that way, unfortunately. Let's go over here, take a drink, take an extra water, and we'll eat some food as well. Okay, we needed uh, three supers. And I said six smart cloth, right? Okay, so... Can we... Let's do this. Let's, since we have the fabric right here, let's make another auto crafter. I need two Oz's and what was the other thing? Oh, another super rod. We'll put this auto crafter right here. And we'll tell it to make smart cloth or smart fabric. Okay, so it looks like it can reach everything that it needs to reach. Because it just needs circuit boards, which are right here and here. And cloth, or fabric rather, which is right here. But we want it to stop at six, though, actually. Because we also need just straight up fabric. In fact, let's just take all of that fabric with us. And then um, the drone should be bringing, yeah, more fabric down here. As it's made, um, we know we need a bunch of iron. So let's just load up on, uh, actually, you know what I should be doing instead of that is let's pull it right out of the, this thing. Oh, never mind. <laughs> we're using iron like crazy. Even in the end game, we're using iron like crazy. Yeah, it's like you never stop using iron like crazy, right? Okay, let's just take that much with us, and we're going to go back to our new base, which is the Southwest Falls home. Look at this place. It's beautiful. Um, oh, and I did move the, the teleporter inside the base. Uh, we, did, we had it out over there before. All right, so the plan is for the downstairs to be storage and utility kitchen kind of stuff, and the upstairs to be living area. So let's start with our bed. Where do we want to put our bed? I think... Let's put the bed over here. Turn my light off because there's such a glare. Okay, so this is supposed to be customizable. Um... Okay, I'm just trying to think about something. Yeah, let's just put it there. Change color. So that's that's the custom customization. That's it. <laughs> uh, okay. I thought maybe we could change like the model of it a little bit too. Let's go with a nice vibrant blue, because blue is my favorite color. Huh. All right, that's a, little mi a minor disappointment. I thought, you know, maybe we could change the model or something, but apparently that is not what you can do with that. I might move this back out, uh, you know, pull it out a little bit and put some decorations behind it. We'll see. Okay, well, then that means the couch is probably the same scenario, right? Uh, we can just change the color of it. Um, so that's fine. Um, let's put the couch... What I'd like is, I'd like to just sit and relax and look out the window here. But 
We don't want to completely block that location either. Do we have other chairs? We've got like an office chair and we got these wrapped around sofa thingamadoodles. Hmm. Okay. So realistically, if this was a real place, we, we'd want to, you know, be able to sit down and look out and enjoy the view, but we don't want to jam that all the way up in there because then you can't actually get to it. So what if we try and put it right here? Oh, wow. Okay. So do these share the same color? No. It, I, apparently it just keeps the last color you used. Okay, I got you. Um, all right, what if we... What if we kind of match the color of the rail outside? How's that, huh? It's it's still it's still really tight getting in there, isn't it? Um Can we actually sit down? Look at that. Um, how do I? Oh, there we go. That's awesome. I wish we could take our space suit off um, because we don't need, we don't really need it anymore. The planet's warm. We can breathe. Maybe in an, a future update, they'll make it. So, you know, once you have breathable atmosphere and, you know, and uh, let's see, survivable temperatures, I guess, temperate temperatures. Hey, you can take your spacesuit off. That would be kind of a nice little thing to have. Okay, so I know this isn't really very... Stop it. How do I... Okay, escape. Uh, it's not really very practical, even in a real situation, because if I'm sitting back here, I can't really see down there. If I had a smaller, comfy chair, not an office chair, I would put that there, but I don't. So that's kind of what we have to work with, you know? Um, and it still bugs me. <laughs> but I, it's just the, it's the way that it is. Okay, it's just going to, that's the way we're going to do it. Okay, so anyway, um, does this corner couch actually match the curve of the building? Not really. Oh, act. Mm, what if we? What if we did it this way though? Now I was thinking, put one piece on this side and one piece on this side, but it's not. The curve doesn't work. It works. It works with this line here mostly. But not not a fan of of that position, I have to say. Okay, so I think what we'll do is you know what we could do, actually. That works a little bit better. Look at that view. That's so amazing. Um, maybe we put... Let's go get a drink of water. The, the thing that I'm... Where the hell am I at? Okay. Uh, the thing that I'm finding out here is that the furniture that they provide doesn't fit real well within the structures. It's like that they didn't think about that. I mean, like, I would have made the curved couch the same curve as the curved buildings. Right? That's kind of what I'm thinking. I really don't like this here. This here. Um, what if we put this... Oh, 
over here. That seems a little more practical to me. Um, yeah, and maybe we'll put something different in here. Okay, what else do we have to work with? Um, we got the bed, we got the sofas, we got a normal sofa. Okay, let's do a display case. Um, we, the, we'll probably put the round table downstairs. Spacesuit displayer. Those both require tree uh, tree bark. We can do a butterfly display. Can we put those up here? Okay, where's the front? I think that's probably... Uh, no, actually, it, this is probably the front. Is it? I think I have that bass backwards. Open butterfly dis display box. All right, we'll grab a butterfly and put it in there. I, I'm almost positive I've got that backwards. Let's let's redo it. Butterfly display box. Yeah, I think it needs to go this way because that little thingy in the back, you know, kind of holds it up off the the wall a little bit. Yeah, that's got to be right. Okay, so we can do that. Um, we need tree bark for those things. We need cobalt and super for that. Flower pots. We need mag and furt. Let's put a desk up here. Maybe what we'll do is we'll put the desk this way. And we'll put the office chair there. And we should put some screens up there just for for decorative purposes. No, we don't need that bed. I'm thinking we should do something more with corner sofas. Like, you know, like this, right? Because it, it does kind of fit right on that curve there. All right, what if we did a second one on this curve? All right, I think we're going to have to go back to the base to get the materials for some of the rest of this stuff. Besides furniture, what else would we could we potentially put in here that would look nice? I wonder if this if we could put this out on that rock outside. I bet you we can't. Probably won't let us do that. We might we'll put some maybe crafting stations downstairs just for the utility of it. All right, well, let's go back to the base and get some more stuff to make some of these other items. So we're gonna wanna make a, let's just start here. We're gonna wanna make a, a table or three. So let's get some titanium. I'm gonna just take all of that titanium. Let's take a, a few more things of iron too. We might go ahead and put some lamps in there for the ambiance. So what do you need? You need magnesium and cobalt. Let's grab all that mag. Um, well, we're going to run out of space here. Are you? Hmm. Just trying to think if I'm, I'm probably not even producing cobalt. We could switch this because it's not filling back up. Why don't we switch this over to Cobalt for a little bit? And I'll just take that out of there. Okay, grab a few things of Cobalt, and now we're full. So let's just go make whatever we can with that much stuff. 
So we want to, oh, that's pretty little. I was thinking that was a little bit larger table. Okay, well, that one actually go nicely. I guess it does kind of fit in the curvature of that, of the couch there. Uh, area lamp. Okay, these will have to kind of mess around with at nighttime. What if... I'm just going to try something. This might look really stupid, but I'm going to try it anyway. If I don't like it, I'll change it later. But I was thinking, put, put all the lights in the center of the room. But we won't be able to really see their full effect until nighttime. Right now, they're all set to yellow. Um, why don't we go with the four primary colors? Just because, just for the hell of it. Make this a little brighter. Same here. Let's make that a little brighter. Alright, we'll see what that looks like at night. <laughs> it might look really dumb or it might look really cool. I don't know. We'll see what it looks like at nighttime. What's next? Wow, we already used up all our cobalt. Oh, did I forget to grab cobalt? I did. I did. I just didn't grab very much. Okay. So I need cobalt, super, more mag. We already did the butterfly. We might do a couple of those, though, eventually. Circuit board, super, quasar quartz. All right. Let's go back and get some more stuff. All right, I have, uh, how many space suits do I currently have? I got two. Oh, we need to go out and check our Rubiro trees too. So let's make enough for two space suit stands. So we need two quasars and two super alloy rods. We needed more cobalt for something. Let's just grab as many as we can take at the moment. And we'll go back and do those. Thank goodness we have um, teleporters to do all this, right? Otherwise, it would take forever to haul all this shit over here. All right. Let me think about what else we're going to do. We needed a display case and a flower pot. Right. Okay. So I think what we'll do is we'll put the, the spacesuit displayer thingies over here. And we have room to put multiple over here, but since I only have currently only have two extra spacesuits, we'll just put them, we'll space them out like this for now. I'll kind of use this as a guide for the angle. And then we'll put you on there and you in there. I like it. I like it. We need some water. That's handy. Looks like there's people in my house. Intruders. Let's eat two. That might actually look kind of neat when it gets, you know, really dark out. 
Oh, I don't have those full correct. Hmm. How did I screw that up? I thought I had those centered. All right, I'll have to redo them. Let's wait and see what it actually looks like before I decide permanently to do it. Oh, I do have another spacesuit. No, that's the one I'm wearing right now. Duh. <laughs> okay. Um, you know what, though? It might be kind of cool to just use the normal space suits for ourselves and put the, the cool ones on display so we can enjoy them because, you know, it's not like I look at myself a lot. I don't know. We'll, we'll worry about that later. Okay, what's next? We have um, the display case. I got to grab two tree bark. Got too much shit in my inventory. All right, let's go back. It is uh it is getting dark. I like actually like that. It's kind of neat. Kind of has a little bit of a rainbow effect, you know? Uh it's just that we need to get them more centered here. And the other thing too is should I could we put those up? Uh, I guess this is the only thing we could probably put them on that would make sort of make sense. If it even lets us do that. But, yeah, I like that. Uh-oh. Um... Drop a couple things. All right. Now, I want this right smack dab in the center. Or as close as possible to smack dab in the center. We do have kind of like a little bit of a, a cross piece thing here to help with that. So let's put you right about there. And we'll put you right about there. Okay, that can go there. And this one. Did I hold it out that far? I think I had it. I think it was right there. That looks pretty good. Okay, let's change this one back to the blue. This one can be back to the red. And this one can be to the green. Yeah, it's it's already daytime again, but I saw I saw enough of it to know that I like it. This is we'll call this the Rainbow Room. How's that? Rainbow Room. Do I have enough stuff to make a monitor? No, that all requires silicon. Should we put another table here, just for symmetry? I think we will. Maybe we can um, find something to put on top of that. All right, let's go back to the base and get... I'm going to need to drop a couple things off and then pick a couple things up here. So we're going to want to make at least one of these. So let's grab a super alloy for that. We're going to want to make maybe a couple of flower pots. Let's start with two. So we're going to need two mags and two furts. Trying to see if I have any fertilizer in overflow. It does Well, not, not tier one fertilizer anyway. Okay, so that'll give us a couple flower pots. As far as flowers goes... 
Oh uh, man, we got tons of flowers. Let's let's do a golden, and let's do an arima. Let's see what those two look like. Okay, so that takes care of display case and flower pots. Uh, we need tree bark for both of those things. And a, another super alloy and a circuit board. For that, let's put um, some of this iron back away. And some of this titanium. And the cloth. Do we need cloth for any of these other things? Yeah, we need fabric for that. We've already put that one up, though. So let's just put all the fabric back for now. Tree bark. Uh, where the hell am I at? Always getting lost in here. Oh, see. Okay, so for down below, let's see. I think what we'll do is we'll make the the kitchen here. And we'll we'll put some other things next to it. Maybe some storage or something like that. This guy we should be able to put right here. here turn my light off. It's too much illumination. What direction is that frog facing? Oh, it's okay. It's like perfect. I think that's about in the center. Okay. Uh, the butterfly's up there. What was the other thing? It was the fish display. Um, is that the same? Uh, I don't know what direction that's supposed to go. We'll, we'll put it that way. And if that's not right, we'll do something different. And we'll probably put more butterfly and fish displays. You know, in fact, maybe what we'll do ultimately is we'll we'll ring this whole entire, uh, you know, seam here, or whatever the hell you want to call that. We'll go all the way around. Didn't I just drink? What the hell, man? I've sworn I just I just came down here. <laughs> okay. Well, at least we have an endless water supply, right? Okay, so we got the kitchen in place and flower pots. Let's do those next. So let's see. Where would a flower pot look nice? I think we're gonna put the display case in that area. It won't let us put those up there. How about if we put one there and one here? What did I do? Yeah, okay, put that kind of right in this corner. Put the golden flower there and the arima plant there. I. I've got to be honest with you guys. I'm I'm not I'm not really impressed with customizable furniture, especially if I'm going to go with blue for this because blue is the default color anyway. Um, well, I'm just going to leave it for now. If I get desperate for smart cloth, which I won't, but if I did. I'd take them back down and put the normal ones down. Got the flower pots in place. Uh, let's get the display case going. I mean, I don't know, putting it in front of the, the window is kind of a dumb thing to do, but the whole place is windows. What we might be able to do is... Uh, it does not like to go in there. 
I was gonna maybe put one here and then another one on this side, but it doesn't doesn't let me put it in there. I mean, I can do it if I hold it that far out. guess that could work. Oh, that is, that is transparent though in the back. Okay. That makes it a little less jank uh, for putting it over here then. Wow, it does not like to go inside of that cubby hole. That's as far in as I can get it. So we need three trophies to put in there. We need to bring back a uh, a fish, a butterfly, and a frog to start with. But again, I'll probably expand on all of those things. Let's go back downstairs and... Uh, see, the problem with this table is it's too low. It's like a coffee table, right? For that you put in front of a couch. I wish we had a larger table in the game we could use. I wonder if we could... Ooh. I got an idea. What if we... Butted two... Okay, that needs to go over a little bit. Well, it almost lets me do it. Is that one right? No, still one more click. Okay, that's centered. If you wonder why I always do that little click thing, it's because I've been playing a lot of Satisfactory. Um, shameless plug, by the way. Come over and watch the Satisfactory videos. They're awesome. I When I play Satisfactory, I try and... I, I don't just build shit. Like, you know, some, some um, videos that you watch, it's all about the build. And that's it, right? I love that world. It is just an amazing world. It's one of the best video game worlds in any video game I've ever played. So I like to spend time, you know, exploring and in combat because there's a lot of hostile aliens and, and just having fun with the world in addition to factory building. So I do more than just building is what I'm trying to say. So if you guys haven't come over and checked out the Satisfactory playthrough, please do. I'd love to see you over there. We're having a good time with it. Uh, okay. Anyway. That's the closest thing I can come to you guys for a kitchen table. <laughs> and it kind of works. Wait a minute. What the heck? How did that not? Oh, are you telling me I can't actually line that up? Uh, here we go. It's, oh, wow, look at that. That is weird. I can't get those perfectly aligned. So it's almost like this model is is not, you know, the, the pivot is not on perfect center. That's bizarre. Well, I can't do anything about that, you know? That's one of those things that, you know, don't spend time and calories worrying about things you can't change. <laughs> <laughs> that's as good as it's going to get. That's not my fault, so don't blame me. Uh, anyway, all right. So uh, let's go back to the main base. Whoops, wrong way. We need to get uh, some critters to put in our display cases. So why don't we... Let's go up here. And what do I have in here? Let's get into Karu Fish. For the fish. For the frog. Why don't we put a 
Should we put a gold? Well, the problem with putting a golden frog on display, I mean, it's not a problem, but they contribute so much to the to the index that I kind of hate to use them for display purposes. Here, let's use these guys. These guys are interesting looking. The Ameto frog eggs. I'll just leave that there in case we want to throw different frog eggs in there at some point. I like the way the golden butterflies, you know, the luminescence of them. And then we should have a whole mess of butterfly larvas or larva in here. He's kind of a reddish yellow. Well, you know what? It doesn't matter because I think we're going to ultimately we're going to do one of each. We got a bunch of these azure butterflies, so let's grab that one. Oh, those plants look nice. <laughs> I like how this kind of floats up and down. Anti-grav pot there. Okay, let's put the frog in here. Turn that light off because it's too bright. Very cool. We'll put the fish up here. Hopefully I've got it going the right direction. Haha, <laughs> look at me. Huzzah. That is awesome. And then uh, butterflies in here. Yeah. I like it. And, and I like the idea of filling this whole area up eventually, you know, with butterflies and fish. And we could get a different frog for this table. So is there anything else other than those things that we need to do up here? Well, I guess we need to go get our trophies, don't we? We'll put some more spacesuit thingies down when I find more spacesuits. Uh, but it's looking pretty good up here. You know what else we need in this game is a carpet. We need some kind of a carpet or a rug we could put down. But let's go back and get our, some trophies to put in there. Those I probably have in here. So we can put a total, is it six or nine? I think it's six. So we got a spaceship, a pod, a drone. Uh, I do have more of these, don't I? I thought I had a bunch of those. I mean, what? I, I wouldn't throw those away. Here we go. There's a golden key. And we've opened up a bunch of, aha. You know, golden chests over the period of time, so I should have a mess of those things. I'm surprised I don't have more than I do, though. Unless I put them somewhere else and I just don't remember uh, where, which is entirely possible. None of those overflows. Hmm. Okay, well, we're going to have to double up on a couple things then. Uh, the, the rockets are definitely cool, so that gives us... That gives us six. So let's go with that. Let's grab a food and a water. Oh, before we go back, um, I'd like to make some crafting stations just, again, for decoration more than anything. And we could even maybe put an aquarium inside the house if we can find a good spot for it. An incubator would look cool for decoration purposes. I think... Let's put... Again, more for decorative reasons than for practical reasons. Let's put a couple of, of the lockers in the kitchen and to make where is, here we go let's make an advance uh, put an advanced crafting station and maybe a tier two in there for decoration so we need three aluminum a mag and a silicon for that there's our magnesium Okay, we're going to have to actually pull those out of their normal bin. Three aluminum, magnesium, and silicon. I actually should probably have a bunch of silicon in here. Oh, I don't have a bunch of silicon in there. It's being used to make something. 
I put that stuff over there a long time ago when I was doing some autocrafting up there. I don't even remember what I was doing with it. Uh, okay, so we'll pull... So, ooh, we are kind of low on silicon, aren't we? Um, didn't I have... I thought I had a bunch of those in one of the overflows. I don't. Okay. Well, then, um, did this get filled back up? It's damn near filled back up. Let's switch you over to silicon for a bit. So we need to replenish that. All right, we need silicon also for um, a monitor for our desk. Let's put... Um, we could put some big screens in there too. Transmissions, map. Let's just do the, again, I'm not really doing them for functionality, just for decoration. So we'll do a blueprint screen and an energy screen. We need another magnesium, another silicon, another iron. I think I did that right. I probably didn't actually, but let's just go see what we can do. Look at those lights. All right, open display case. We'll do a rocket, a pod, an effigy. Well, they're all effigies. One of those, one of those, and one of those. Nice. Maybe we could put a couple lights facing this and, you know, uh, kind of showcasing them. What do the lights cost? Do I have two mags and two cobalts? I only have one. Okay, I'll do that later. What else were we going to do up here? We were going to... Uh, put a screen in that's right we're gonna need more light over by the desk as well the one thing they don't have uh, that i don't think they have a good uh or what they could do better on is interior lighting and this is really the only option we have and the those are okay but they're not super bright and i don't think there's a way is there a way we can make these brighter no it's just a color change there's no option for making them brighter all minor things, of course. The game's awesome, but let's put this one in at an angle. Those aren't quite even, are they? Let's hold this one back over a little bit. Uh, that was the blueprint screen, right? That's good. They don't have to be absolutely perfect because they wouldn't probably be in real life anyways. Let's go back downstairs to our kitchen area. And uh, let's see, we were going to build a, a couple of lockers. You can almost think of these as like, like a refrigerator for the food. Oh, I need another iron, and we're thirsty again. So all this moving around we're doing. So we were gonna we were gonna do the crafting stations, right? And I think I probably sidetracked myself. We talked about maybe putting an incubator and an aquarium in two. Okay, so crafting station. Let's put that over here. That's pretty good. All right, so we have this corner and this corner. We could put an incubator in one of those. Um, here, let's get this. Let's get the little... Uh, oh, shit. I need a, a silicon. All right, let's think about this for a second. So, incubator could go there. 
We're gonna put a, another, or no, actually maybe we'll put the, the smaller crafting station in that corner. And this is our refrigerator. The one thing I was thinking of is, what if we did the same thing we did in the other base? No, I have an even better idea. Why don't we take the aquarium out of the other base? Because the damn thing's in the way, even though it looks cool. And we'll put that as the centerpiece of this room. Then I'll have to figure out something else with those lights. I like that idea. Okay, that's what we're going to do. Um, let's see, we also needed another silicon. This is fun, man. I'm enjoying myself. Hope you guys are enjoying this episode, too. Just playing with all this decorative stuff. I've I've dabbled with it a little bit, but I haven't gotten serious about it until now, you know? Um, okay, so we need silicon for that. If we're going to build the incubator... Um, actually, you know what? I've got an extra incubator at the base that we could bring over here, too. Because I don't really use it that much. Uh, okay, so let's go back to the base. We know we need silicon. Uh, or at least one silicon. We're going to... I didn't doing it again. Okay, we're going to pick that one up, and we're also going to pick this up. Oh, this is much better, because then we can move around better in here. All right. We wanted to put the... Uh, oh, you know what would actually... Uh, maybe, maybe. I was going to maybe put an auto crafter here, but we could maybe do that later. Because most of this stuff is, you know, again, it's decorative. It's not really intended to be functional. Not that we couldn't use it if we wanted to, but it's more for decoration. I like it. I like it. We'll have to figure out what we'll do with that corner, but uh, let's pick these back up. The F key in Satisfactory is the disassemble key. That's why I always, I'm always i always hitting that instead of, you know, doing this, which is what you got to do in this game. Um, Since we're changing this up, let's do our little, uh, my light idea. We won't be able to get the full effect of it until nighttime again. But the idea is that we maybe put the light on that corner there. And... I think we're going to want this to be golden light because the effigies themselves are golden. Or, uh, yeah, let's just try that and see. We'll see how that works. See, that'll, it kind of, you know, highlights it or showcases it. I'm almost feeling like that's too yellow, though. Maybe we keep it yellow, but we... Add some white to it. Okay, we'll try that at nighttime. We'll just see how it looks and see if we like it or not. Let's grab the aquarium. And let's see, we come up from here, so we kind of want the aquarium to greet us. I uh, can't tell if that's in the middle or not. Let's pull it one more this way. I think it... Well, hmm. see, now we can't really get through there, huh? Maybe we want to pull it forward even more then, based upon that. There I go. I pressed F again. Can't take me anywhere. Okay, so I think it was there. I think we want it there. <laughs> okay, I can't walk through here in the game, but in real life, that would not be a problem. So I'm not going to worry about that. Let's put the fish back inside. Huzzah! That looks really good. I like it. I'm not going to lie. I think it's looking pretty damn good up here. We need another frog on the table, right? We need another frog on the table. And we have to decide what to put in this corner. Um, What are other options? I mean, we could put... Uh, I guess we could put an auto crafter in that corner. Hmm. 
just looking through here to see what else might look cool. So Autocrafter is a possibility. I don't think I really want to put the genetic machines in there. We could put a shredder just to put something there, right? Okay. Yeah, so I'm thinking auto crafter and maybe a shredder in this corner. And not really anything I think we can put onto the table. If we had like kitchen chairs, we could put some chairs there. I mean, I guess we could put um I think office chair at the kitchen table would look kind of weird. <laughs> Do I have stuff to make make one? I need, I would need fabric. We could put a sofa there, just like a bench idea. I don't know. I, you know what? I'm not going to worry about that. Let's, let's, whoops, wrong way again. Let's forget about that. Let's just go back to the base and get the stuff we need for an auto crafter. Uh, so we need two Oz's and a super rod because the other ones are in their inventory for our, our, a teleporter. Excuse me. Okay, two Oz's and a super rod. And we also wanted to put a shredder. Super uranium Oz explosive. Super uranium Oz and an explosive. Is that everything? Yes. And we wanted to do another frog display, which was the tree bark, I think. Do I have any frog eggs in the bio lab? I don't. Okay, so let's... You know what? Screw it. I'm going to do a golden frog. It's like I said earlier in this episode. It's not like we're in a hurry. We're just going to do it. What the hell? Sue me. If you don't like it, sue me. <laughs> okay. We'll probably do a golden butterfly display too for the same exact rationale. Okay, so let's see. This corner here. Uh, we want an auto crafter. And I think I am. I think I'm going to center this one. We'll put the shredder in this corner. And I might come up with something else to put in that corner. We'll see. It's looking pretty good down here, guys. It's looking good in the neighborhood. Um, You know what we could do, too, if we wanted to, is we could. Because, you know, you can put the, the outdoor farms on foundations. we got a lot of space still back here. Well, do we, though? How far back can I go? This is There's an invisible wall right here. Uh, we don't. Okay, so we don't really have a lot of space back here, but we have some. And we could maybe do, like, a little garden um, here so so that we could just make food at our house that would make sense right okay i'll think about that that might be a, a, a future a future project right frog stand i, I knew there was one more thing so let's do uh, grab the frog display, turn the light off because it's too damn bright, and turn it this way. Golden frog. Yes. Some of you guys are cringing. I'm sure that I did that instead of using that for TTI, but you are the you're the type of people that need to stop. And smell the flowers every once in a while, okay? That's my advice to you. Because I love you, all right? And I want the best for you, so, yeah. Uh, it, wait. Does that not have collision? I can walk right through the corner of that. That's weird.
All right, guys. I think that's going to be it for this episode. I think we did we did good. <laughs> I think we did good. I'm I'm pretty happy with how things turned out. Uh, so future plans for our home will be like I said. We'll we'll line the upper wall there with fish and butterfly uh, butterflies. You know, make that look cool. Um, and then we will we'll probably put in a garden out here. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll utilize the space as much as the game will let us use use it so that we can make chocolate chip cookies because uh, and maybe birthday cakes. Well, damn, that's expensive. We really should have a supply of these on hand just because of the speed boost and chocolate chip cookie. And maybe even make some of this other stuff just for funsies. Um, you know, with as thirsty as we were get, we've get, try that again. With as thirsty as we have gotten in this episode, it might not be a bad idea to make some of this stuff too. So those are potential future things we can do here at our home base. But I like the way that's come together. I really need to get some more lights in here too. Uh, even if you had like a control for the building where you could turn the built-in light lighting up just a little bit that would be cool so i don't know those are just some ideas that i have to enhance the game just a little bit but that is going to be it for this episode ladies and gentlemen i hope you guys enjoyed and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment share out the video and we will catch you all in the next episode Bye bye